We've been expecting you, Mr. Kresnik. Please deliver the item in question directly to the CEO himself. Look at this place! It's so big and pretty! Indoor voice, Leia. Who are these people? I believe only Mr. Kresnik was invited. We're a package deal. I'm Luger's friend. An advisor. And I'm the acting guardian of these miners. I'm acting guardian number two. And I'm... I'm... Acting guardian of this kitty. <laughs> One moment, please. Acting guardian number two, huh? Look who's talking. All of you may enter. Mr. Bakur is most impressed by the loyalty you engender in others, Mr. Kresnik. Why, Luger, I've been waiting for you. Thanks. Any leads on your brother's whereabouts? Well, as it turns out, I have news for you of both varieties. Good and bad. Which one first? I would like to recruit you as an agent in our corporation. <laughs> Don't act so surprised. It makes perfect sense. I've been keeping my eye on you this whole time. You never back down from difficult situations. More importantly, you have the strength to face them. I'd wager you've been doing more than just keeping an eye on him. You've been testing Luger. You can't get the true measure of a man by observing from a distance. You said there was bad news, too. Mr. Kresnik's going on the police's most wanted list. So they're gonna throw Luger in jail? Your life's about to get a lot tougher. But if you become one of my agents, I'll keep the police off your back, even if I have to get pushy. He doesn't even have a choice. This is blackmail. I failed to mention that an agent's salary is considerable. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. You can avoid arrest and pay off that massive loan almost overnight, provided you show me results, of course. <gasps> what kind of results? No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? Think of this flower as our prime dimension, a world where history flows in a way that's familiar to us. But it's not the only blossom. There are offshoots. When one of these appears, it disperses soul energy from the prime dimension. Our dimension, in other words. Wait, it disperses? That can't be good. And what happens if we don't do anything about it? Ultimately, 
souls will vanish from the Prime Dimension. Of course, this means humans will die out as well. Whoa, whoa, time out. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. Olympias going dry, the failure of Spyrite technology. What if I were to tell you those effects were caused by the loss of soul energy from the Prime Dimension? It can't be true. Oh, but it is. <sighs> Spirius has been working to save our world by eliminating its counterparts in the fractured dimensions. How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <laughs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate and destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. Luger, for the sake of this world, the true world, you must help us. He was the best of the best. Julius eliminated more than a hundred fractured dimensions. We believe it's very likely that former director Kresnik has fled into one such dimension. Find him and you'll kill three birds with one stone. <laughs> That's a good lad. You're officially a DODA agent of Spirius. <sighs> one thing I still don't get. What's causing these fractured dimensions? It's not a what, it's a who. A great spirit of Canaan. Kronos. The land of Canaan? Another great spirit? There is nothing to fear. We have in our possession the power needed to oppose him. Come to the underground training area, and I will show you how to wield it. I have to admit, being an agent for the Spirius Corporation is kind of a big deal. But, are you sure about this? Thought so. But if the CEO says you can handle it, that's a big thumbs up! I mean, my editor will barely let me take down a classified ad. This could be your big chance to make it big. Ugh, what reporter uses big twice in one sentence? Bisley Bacor certainly lives up to his reputation. He certainly makes an impression. He's like... I think so too! He's like the villain on Beach Brigade Sunscreen Rangers! Who? Well, he's like this evil genius who makes fish paste products from dead fish and uses them to rule the seafood industry. But the Sunscreen Rangers will fight him to the death to defend the beach, so that they have dead fish to eat! They're fighting to save... dead fish from the seafood industry? It was a classic Olympian action series. Palin collected all the toys. I used to watch it with my daddy. And Beasley Bakur resembles that. Well, regardless, he's Luger's boss now. Let's just make sure we're the ones using him and not the other way around. That makes sense. We can't accomplish much without him. But be careful. I don't think that Bakur was lying. But I'm pretty sure he wasn't telling us everything either. I agree. How does Beasley know about Luger's power? Not exactly the tailored suits and financial reports sort of CEO, huh?